Hey guys, it is Efren the Marketer, and today I want to talk to you about getting the virus. A couple of reasons how I found out I had the virus. I did have night sweats where I wake up really, really sweaty, and the bed would be like a pile of sweat. So it was pretty bad. Um, then the next thing that kind of gave it away was the fever. I didn't, never really had fever. I mean, last time I had fever, a fever, was when I got food poisoning back in high school. Uh, when I bought an elote, an elote from the Lotero man from outside, uh, it was like 115 degrees. I'm pretty sure the elotes were like sitting in his cart forever. So, um, ever since that day, I haven't had a fever or bad diarrhea as that day. But I think the food poisoning was much, much worse, right? So you're probably wa watching videos and you're like seeing people's, how they cured it and got over COVID. My biggest thing was I was an idiot at one point, right? Like I was trying to try all these different medicines that usually work good for colds. And uh, even though I read online, like try Tylenol, go straight to Tylenol. And, and it's just like, it's one of those things, like if you watch the Kevin Hart specials, like Kevin Hart goes, why, you know, the doctor just told me to drink tea. I went to go and buy all this toilet paper, right? I did the exact same thing, but with medicine. Uh, got Dayquil, NyQuil, um, Alka-Seltzer Plus, Alka-Seltzer Cold uh, and Fever. I got all these types of medicines when all I really needed was Tylenol. And let me explain why, when I got the fever, I would take Dayquil and I would still have a fever. Uh, I'll take the, the Alka-Seltzer Plus for fevers and stuff like that, and colds, and, and it wasn't helping, and I was like, oh fuck, man, like COVID's gonna suck ass. It took me about two days to really try Tylenol, and again, to me, I don't know why, you know, Tylenol just doesn't click to me like that, so, when I tried Tylenol, um, I think it was like the second, third day I had fever, my life changed. I was like, holy crap, I actually feel good when I take these Tylenol pills. So um, I started taking Tylenol pills every about six hours or so, and uh, I would actually be decent. Uh, not decent enough to where I feel great, but I would feel decent enough to not feel like I'm dying, right? Um, luckily, I didn't have no kind of like super cough or hard time breathing or anything like that which is great and when i mean hard time breathing i mean like i'm laying down and i can't breathe and i feel like i'm choking or anything like that so thank god it didn't get that far but i did throw away the trash about like the fifth or sixth day and on the way back of throwing the trash i thought i was going to pass out and that's because covid makes you like so tired your body just aches um i mean your body just consistently sweating you'll be sitting down and just like you're sweating like you just ran a marathon um your your muscles were so like get so tight you know um but you know I, luckily i again it, it didn't hit me as hard as i thought it would hit me uh, luckily, you know, once I found out about Tylenol, I would take Tylenol every five hours instead of six hours because I would feel when the Tylenol is slowly dying out on my body. So I would just consistently, every five hours, boom, pop another Tylenol pill. Boom, five hours, another Tylenol pill. And, uh, you know, I, I know eating or taking so many pills isn't good. So, um, but it's one of those things that made me feel good. Luckily, you know, I didn't have to take it for that long. Um, I think after like seven days of straight fever and diarrhea, I decided to, well, I not decided, but I felt better. Um, so I think I'm on like day 14th or something like that. So I feel good. Um, I don't feel, I might have it still, I'm not sure. I'm still, I'm gonna go get tested tomorrow, uh, which will be like day 15. And uh, hopefully I don't, I don't have the virus in me where I'm not contagious anymore and hopefully I'll be able to work again uh, to come, come back Monday or Tuesday once I get my results. So, um, but something I kind of want to mention is stuff that helped me, that might help you out. 
I've been drinking a lot of Pedialyte. You know, obviously I've been, because with with the fever, obviously you sweat a lot and, you're, and with uh, COVID, like your body feels like you've been working out nonstop. Um, and so I've been drinking a lot of Pedialyte, a lot of water, a lot of teas. Something that felt really good was um, my girl cut up some cucumbers and, and lime and stuff like that. And cucumbers have never tasted so good in my entire life. And I love cucumbers, but when you've been sweating and having a fever and a headache from COVID, and you get that first taste of that cold cucumber just going down your throat and hitting your stomach, it's like you've been craving pizza and then you finally get pizza. But it was the cucumbers that really that really helped me a lot. And you know, after that, uh, my brother sent me to get uh, I, my brother dropped off a bunch of like um, watermelon and stuff like that, and that felt really good. So, um, if you have any fruit, fruit tastes really good when you're sweating and you can't keep anything down. Um, don't think that there's other medicines that might help. Try Tylenol first. Ty let Tylenol be your number one B um, to see how you feel. And you know, I I can't believe I was trying all. The, I tried Dayquil, Nyquil. I tried all these different types of medicine, and none of them help like Tylenol. Like you'll be so surprised. Tylenol, Tylenol, Tylenol. Um, I did try some like I did try to keep my fever down naturally. It, didn't really work. Um, I tried like like shower that's not like so hot or cold to a little bit more in a chill area. I did try putting stuff in my forehead. That didn't really work out. Um, it, I mean, Tylenol. Tylenol it will solve everything. Um, as well, like now it's like back to recovery, right? Because let's say the the actual COVID is gone. I'm not contagious anymore. I'm not sure yet, but uh, let's just say that right now until I get tested. I do feel like I ran a marathon, right? I feel so weak. Um, I still get out of breath like when I go and throw away the trash and come back. So I've, I've been taking a lot of vitamins, um, vitamin D, vitamin C, so obviously the normals. And one of the biggest things is don't get scared. Like, don't get anxious, don't panic. Um, treat it like a cold and um, don't be you know don't be afraid and I think that is one of the biggest things that a lot of people are and that's probably why you're watching this video don't be afraid <laughs> um, other than that guys hopefully this video helped I was just trying to share like my ideas of what worked um, when when I got COVID and um, you know, luckily I didn't have a nasty cough um, and luckily I could breathe still normal and I do have asthma, uh, but my, I guess you can say my asthma isn't severe, but still, I mean, I did okay. I had also friends and stuff like that that got COVID and they felt great afterwards. So um, where they just got tested and they came out positive and they were like, oh shit, I don't even have any symptoms. They were lucky enough. I wasn't lucky enough. Yeah, that's it. Just kind of want to kind of just want to update you guys with the whole virus uh, situation and hopefully this video helps. If you haven't, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot to grow my YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Till next time.